Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking, let d is equal to 2xy ax plus x square ay coulombs per meter square and find a bar is asking the volume charge density rho v. B bar is asking us to find the flux through the surface when x is equal to 0 to 1 and uh, z is from 0 to 1, y is equal to 1. And C is asking the total charge contained in the region x is 0 to 1, y is 0 to 1, z is 0 to 1. Now let's go ahead and do the first part, A. A is asking for the volume charge density. It can be calculated using this formula, del dot D. D is the flux flux density that's provided right here, 2xy ax plus x square ay. And if you dot with del, that's gonna give us the this volume charge density. Now let's go ahead and do that. Del is basically parcel derivative with respect to x, parcel derivative with respect to y, parcel derivative with respect to z. And if we dot it with d, we are going to have parcel derivative with respect to x, d x component plus parcel derivative with respect to y, d y component plus parcel derivative with respect to z, d z component. Okay. Now, if you look at the y co x component of the given d, we have two x y. That's the x component. So we have to take the parcel derivative with, res with this one with respect to x. If we do that, let's go ahead and write that whole thing first. Parcel derivative with respect to y of x square plus parcel derivative with respect to c. We don't have anything, so we just put zero. Okay. Now, if you do the derivative of this one, two x is the only thing that's going to be we can take the derivative right y is a constant so it's it's going to be just 2y if you have a constant right here that's going to remain the same x is going to become 1 so we will get 2y and since we are taking parcel derivative with respect to y x x is a constant so this is going to be 0 and for this one this is already 0 so that's going to be 0 so finally we end up with 2y and this is going to be our volume charge density and the unit is coulombs per meter cube and this is the answer for the first part. Okay, now let's look at the second part. Second part is asking the flux through the surface 0 to 1, 0, x is 0 to 1, z is 0 to 1, y is 0 to 1. This is an open surface, so we cannot apply Gauss law because in order to apply Gauss law, we have to have a closed surface. Since this is an open, open surface, we cannot apply that one. But we can calculate using this formula that's given by xi is equal to surface integ surface integral d ds okay now surface let's look at the surface d is we already know that is 2xy ax x square ay 2xy ax plus x square ay we have to do the integration with the surface okay ds hmm. And here it's given y is equal to 1. So the surface is in the y is equal to 1 plane. So y is equal to 1 plane is a surface. And also what else we can say? Okay, if we have this one, then we have to take the surface integral with respect to ay because it's in the y plane. So we have to take ay. So we just have to see what's what we have in the ay. If you look at this one, x square is the only one that's in the y plane right so we just have to write that one so integral x x square ds and that's gonna be integral s x square the surface is going to be dx dz and then we know the x x range and z range that's given 0 to 1 0 to 1 so we can just plug it right here 0 to 1 0 to 1 x square dx dz and if you do the integration you are going to get x cube divided by 3 0 to 1 and then z going from 0 to 1 finally you will end up with 1 over 3 so that's going to be 1 over 3 so it's going to be 1 over 3 c that's going to be our final answer okay now we have this one now we can go for the C part. C part is asking the total charge contained in the region 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Like x is 0 to 1, y is 0 to 1, z is 0 to 1. Okay. 
and Gauss law states that a total electric flux psi through any closed surface is equal to the total charge enclosed by the surface. So we can say, let's get rid of this one. Let's write the last answer and get rid of this one. So for the second part, we found out psi is equal to 1c. Okay. So the flux through the surface is 1c. Now let's get rid of this one. Let's do the C part right here. Okay, C part is asking the total charge contained in the region. C x is 0 to 1, y is 0 to 1, z is 0 to 1. As I said before, Gauss law states that total electric flux psi through any closed surface is equal to the total charge enclosed by the surface. So we can say Q enclosed is equal to psi. Therefore, Q enclosed can be found using integral v rho v dv right so this is the volume surf i mean volume integral dv now volume is going to be what we have x y z so all of them are going to be there 0 to 1 0 to 1 0 to 1 and then we found out rho v is equal to 2y in the first part so 2y is going to be the rho v and then dv is going to be all of the dx dy dz right dx dy dz now if you do the integration the first one is going to be 2x going from 0 to 1 and then y square divided by 2 going from 0 to 1 then z going from 0 to 1 and after that we will get 2 1 minus 0 0 and then half going from half actually one time half half so half minus zero the last one is going to be just one minus zero so that's going to be just one so finally we will get one right so q enclosed is equal to one c so this is going to be the last answer i hope this helps thanks for watching